I remember me, and I think his name was Nick. Uh, he was my backup goalie on a team. I think I was like, I was maybe 15 at this time. And I was a starting goalie and he was the backup and we were playing a game. And it was in a, a tournament, I believe. I think he might have gotten me sick and we were both having diarrhea. They put both of us in the same room for the for the tournament trip. And I go out there and like before the game, I'm like, Nick, like if I start waving at you, I want you to please get get on the ice quickly. Like <laughs> I, I would, re I like I don't want to embarrass myself and poop my pants. And he was like, "Dude, I totally get it, but I'm not staying out there very long because I got to poop too." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and so, like, period one, we're in the middle of the first period. We're halfway through the first period. I, Nick, Nick, like, there's a. I'm waiting. I, I think I smother the puck. Whistle book it off and we told the coach to expect some erratic goalie changes and he understood he doesn't have other goalies but a play in our equipment expect some erratic goalie <laughs> changes it was like we weren't going to win this tournament anyway and so i skate off and it is unreal hard to shit in goalie equipment do you, first of all your knees with the pads you can't see the door of the goddamn thing in front of you you're like a mountain of a man you can't get your pants off without taking the buckles off of your pads so imagine like shin guards you know on the front you're unbuckling the top ones so that they fold down off of your legs towards the the ground and then yeah. you pull your pants down and you're like a knight in armor and i'm in a giant i can barely reach my ass to wipe and take care of it because i, oh. I like, like the first time i took the shit i was like i'm i'm gonna leave this on this is speedy and in the middle of wiping i'm like am i getting shit on my jersey <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I did like, not get like shit. On my notes to you, you're just <laughs> smearing shit all over your number back there. Wow, no one wants to get close to the crease. They're too intimidated by that goaltender. It's like, no, it's because he's got shit all over himself. <laughs> the ultimate defense. And so I, I get back out there, and I swear to God, the second I get back out on the bench, I start to feel more grumbles, and I see Nick waving it. I see Nick waving it. It was one of those shits where all I was doing was relieving temporary pressure. There was no a full evacuation there. And so he, Nick immediately waves me over. I'm like, are you kidding me, man? He goes, he runs in there, takes a shit. I make it through the first period, and I think I make it through most of the second. And then I had to bail. Like, I think I shit three times. We each shat. Three Dude, times. Remind me again. How did you get like poisoned? What happened? I don't. I cannot. I don't remember. We ate the. It was on a trip, and so we ate the same shit, both of us, this the night before. So it must have been something we ate. I don't know, but it, that's the only thing that makes sense. We were in the same room. We probably got some like room service feeling like big shots for you know, from the fucking bullshit Marriott we were staying at. But yeah, that was that was horrible. That was the least fun game of hockey I've ever played in my life. Like the the panic of having to shit and knowing not only are you not near a toilet, you are five minutes of frantic equipment removal once you get there. And once you can see the porcelain, your mind tells you it's time. Yeah. Psychologically. Yeah. And so I'm there, you're dancing, trying to get that shit off that. Oh, absolute nightmare. That sounds like no fun at all. No, no. I, 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 I'm surprised that it doesn't happen in more sports. I, I have seen it it's in true. Years. Not in UFC, I don't think, but definitely in like mixed martial arts, them shitting themselves. Like, Oof. well, that's good. they have to leave the ring for that. They can't let them keep wrestling if they're shit. That's a disqualification. Uh, that's you know what? Fair. Fair, right? That is fair. You don't. You make, you don't he make shit himself. <laughs> well, you sir went. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, gross! <laughs> You're some metal. He's, he's up there like I don't hear no bell. Like, dude, you have <laughs> shit yourself. You lost. <laughs> like, by by every measure, it's over. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Getting I, I the shit kicked out of you literally oh, in front of all those people. There's a lot of, uh, I, I found a guy who died in Florida in a really shitty way. Uh, I guess pun intended. Um, so this guy <laughs> worked in a landfill, okay? Already, like, just imagine this guy's life up until this point. Terrible. Sounds, this young, sounds awful. This young man's here. job is working in a florida landfill um it's and probably hot probably even now in march it's hot as fucking balls well he was out there and he had to take a shit and uh luckily for him there was a porta potty so he, he's, he hops in the porta potty and starts taking a no. shit and uh along comes his buddy in a bulldozer and uh because he was heading like up up a hill you know, the front of the boat bulldozer obscured his view. He didn't realize that he was driving right over a oh. porta potty. And so a bulldozer uh, makes 
it, well, it, it's just no match. It uh, makes short work of you. Yeah. Short work of a of a porta potty and a man inside of it. That plastic just bends to its will because it's thousands of pounds, oh. and uh, and so it just mushed him inside the porta potty. And what was inside must have been just a, a horrific scene. How did they separate him from everyone else's shit from that day? It'd be impossible. He has his own shit in there too. Impossible. There would be a mixture of man, porta potty, and shit. If that happened to me, just bury me whole. Just bury me in the porta potty. <laughs> you back the bulldozer up and start piling dirt on top. Just leave me there. I don't look at what's in there. Don't open that door. That's if, not if, being my uh, best. That's I would not haunt. My best. I would haunt the shit Look, out of that guy. I wouldn't want you to open that door if I was just taking a shit. I don't want you to see that. You don't no, need to see that. You don't no have that. To see that. I certainly don't want you to see me if I've been crushed while taking this shit. <laughs> it's oh. so awful. Uh, and and I it's all your all your all your viscera mixed with the poo. The poo and the landfill. Yeah. It's well, that's like, a, you know for. A, this is the best place for it to happen. It's the worst place for it to happen. A landfill? You just kind of kind of move it. Right? You just kind of push him push him a well, little further, make a mistake you, further into the landfill. I feel like you got to hose the area down, I suppose if that was your concern. There's no like cleanup per se. Well, I was meaning um, if it happened like on a busy street. Oh, that would be worse. At least it was landfill. Yeah. Well, the, that poor guy working a shitty job. He's already thinking God, I fucking hate shitting in porta potties. This is the worst part of my day. But he didn't yeah. know. Dude, what if he was taking a piss? Oh, that would be even more tragic. Just like a a thirty five second window of death. What if what if what if he he had been like pissing behind some barrels, but they had been giving him shit about it? They're like going, and he's like, dude, it's just us dudes out here. Who cares? He's like, we're gonna get written up if that lady comes down again. And so like he's pissing in there because they hired Marge to like oversee the trash yeah. men. Because someone said, there's no lady trash man. What about that? So they made like the head trash man for the region making six figures a lady. So now all mm -hmm. these poor trash men that work all their this is a made up scenario. None of this is true. But they're, they're you know, they were working under their under her heel, under oh, her you're boot. You're selling me, man. Under her boot. And and like poor Larry having to go in there and piss in that hot porta potty where it smells instead of behind the barrel like he's been doing for twenty seven years now, three years away from his his his, his big pension. retirement, his pension. Yeah. And, yeah. and 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 daughter dirt. just graduated from college, and and that new and that young little um that white um trans girl that they hired recently um with the with the fox ears mm -hmm. to, to bull she's driving the bulldozer. Oh no! And, uh, yeah, she's her her vision's obscured by the fox ears. Well, she has to sit kind of funny because of the butt plug, so she couldn't see over the front. <laughs> <of the bulldozer. laughs> <laughs> she's got the tail. She's got the fox tail in she's sitting on her chair with like like her ass. It's part of her identity. Yeah, here. it's part of her identity. So she has <laughs> she's allowed to wear it there at the you know at the job, and but but she, it, it it prevents her from seeing her at the top. So now, three years away from his pension, um, the 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 fox boy has has smushed him. You know while he's just taking a leak in there because everybody was meanwhile, butt plug hanging out. You know all day nobody says a peep because it's part of that person's identity. He should have made pissing behind barrels part of his identity. He should have identified as a dog man, hiked his leg. He'd still be alive. He would be. He'd look silly, but it'd be worth it. You know, tell you what, what you know, he looks real. Silly what looks now. silly is when you get smashed into a poo capsule <laughs> by your friend in a bulldozer. But it, but it looks like if you took a Lego and squished a frog with it. <laughs> and then, oh, and then look, like, like I can imagine like. The guy drives over it. Do you think immediately he's like, I pray there was no one in there? Or do you think you can oh, like God, see yeah. the amount of like pop in a gusher? Remember when you used to like so, suck on a gusher until the, the thin walls and then it would pop in your mouth like that? Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I th He would definitely know he was way. hitting it unless he was in a huge piece of machinery. Like just the, the little crumpling noises and the, like there's a little bit of a bump no matter what it is. Like, like you yeah. know. Like I've driven big dozers and big like tracos and stuff, but like you know if it's got tires, that um, fucking but sucks. On tracks, it's like I don't know. I, I I like to imagine that like the guy died quickly, but there's no way he did. He died in over the course of like four or five seconds of sheer terror. He died the way he lived, shitty, <laughs> terrified, and amongst filth. Yeah, Ugh. I hate like stories like that are like deaths that don't mean anything. 
and that are totally avoidable, like accidents like that are so sad where it's just like, you you're, you're like someone's life. Like they had thoughts and feelings and aspirations and ideas. And it's just I mean, like, what, well, oh, calm down. accident for two seconds, gone. I mean, calm down. He was a garbage man. Let's, he had ideas about how to no, collect. No. He had ideas about how to collect the garbage, how to dispose of the garbage, how to move the garbage. Let's not act like they had Leonardo da Vinci and the shitter out at the <laughs> Route 30 dump. Okay. <laughs> well, he, who knows? We've all seen <laughs> films about the the genius janitor. How about this? I I, I bet Don's donuts. The, the guy's probably a pedophile if he's working at a Florida landfill. For, for being honest. You, you know what? That is how I how i make my mind okay with things he, he was a pedophile yeah i mean if you look at the rate they're being caught these days you flip a coin and somebody's a pedophile i mean there's two of us here <laughs> frankly, <laughs> frankly frankly folks um i hope it's not me i hope it's not me. <laughs> that's all i know um because 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 like every fucking week it's like oh yeah that youtuber yeah he's, he's a pedophile oh and and, and, and and this celebrity oh yeah they're all pedophiles and then it'll be like Massive pedophile ring found in Yorkshire, 87 caught. And then it's like, wait, tell me more. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, a like, couple like, of them you, former members of, of parliament pay no yeah, heed. It, it's, it's fucking wild. It's fucking wild. Um, they're, they're taking they they do it the same way like the NBA did with their refs, where the NBA came to the table and was like, okay, one of our refs was fixing games, but we fired that guy and we're full steam ahead we got rid of that guy who was doing this like that's what I, almost what i feel like with the weinstein and the epstein stuff where they're like so many people are like oh we got this snake out of hollywood and it's like dude that guy's not yeah, even wanna, a percentage of the problem they want sure. everyone to be like oh there we got him and close Let's the books and that like, get out of here yeah 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 it and, was and, funny like as when me too was like that wildly popular there were so many celebrities coming out like oh it was an open secret the whole time there's lots of open secrets in hollywood and it's like what are they i think oh uh, oh uh, i don't i still want to be able to do avatar 3 i could go for I, some fun it's all yeah, war. so china and india um have like this border dispute i guess and so like but they have a rule there um it, or a law or just an understanding if if they were to use firearms against each other in any of their little like t skirmishes, it begins a war and mm -hmm. it's a big war, you know. Like oh yeah, so they just don't have guns there, but that so they get into full blown melees between the Indian and the Chinese military with fists, really? sticks, rocks, and vehicles. Like I watched one today where like I think it's a Chinese Humvee trying to like progress down a dirt road and there's like a dozen indians beating it and like knocking the headlights out and like screaming at it and forcing it back like it's like something medieval it's like yeah. they brought like a siege machine and and like the 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 knights are out there beating on it with their swords they had like batons <laughs> and, jesus and, christ and I'm, i was I'm reading the comments this. yeah and the comments said um oh this is nothing this happens all the time. They can't use firearms or it'd technically be like World War III and everybody be involved. But as long as they keep it fists and sticks, melee only, as it were, they're all good. And they get after it. Like, apparently, like, there's Jesus dozens Christ. of videos of them just, like, beating the shit out of each other. We really haven't evolved as far as we thought we have. No, we pretend that we have. Mm. Yeah, we pretend. We're, I, like, we're like, still like, I love that. I love that in the same speech, Biden is saying, we've got to send as many arms to the Ukraine so they can fight for freedom as possible. And he's like, by the way, what do y'all need those 30 round magazines for here? <laughs> what? He, he said, what are the deer wearing Kevlar? And it's just like, dude, how? It's not for deer, dumbass. It's it's not for the deer, dummy. Like, like, like you just, you just. That's such just a willful misrepresentation of what the second he amendment just is. It annoys six, me. He just sent sixteen billion dollars to the Ukraine, and he can't figure out why somebody might want a thirty-round magazine. Um, Ugh, it's ridiculous. been a wild week, though. Like you can see that the weaponry that the whole fucking world is like sending, because the like you can virtue signal yeah. the new virtue signal is sending a fucking rocket to some Ukrainians. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what have you done? I sent. I sent butterfly mines to the Ukrainians. They look like toys, so the Russian children will pick them up. Oh, God, you've done... 
What a great guy. <laughs> what a great guy. This guy is killing knew. the next generation. Well, maybe settle down a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. By the Christ, way, that, that's the thing the Russians are doing uh, around Mariupol, I believe. They're dropping these little butterfly mines. I don't know what butterfly. that is, a butterfly. Um, mine. It's this little green thing that looks kind of like a plastic toy. Uh, I think a, you might call them also like toe popper mines. They're kind of made to maim people rather than outright kill them. They blow hands off, arms off. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, they look like toys, so kids pick them up. I mean, up. not that the ones that, that kill well, them they, were better. Well, they drop them from airplanes, though, so they're like super indiscriminate. They sort of like drop and flop around and disperse, scatter. Mines as a whole against people just feels like such an evil way to, to kill depends, someone. Well, it depends on what side you're on, right? Because right now the Ukrainians are mining the fuck out of their beaches. Oh, there's one. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. And so that'll blow up like your leg or, or something. Yeah, yeah that'll blow your foot if, right you, off. If you step on it, is that what it oh, is? Yeah. Or, or he picked it up and played with it. Like um, the story I was reading, the person had been holding it and it blew the bottom of their face off. Oh, that's the second most important half of your face. Yeah, it is. And not, it's a close second, though. It's a close. <laughs> second. It's, it's, a, it's a very close. You really need the whole thing to make it come together. <laughs> Have you ever seen those World War I photos where a guy gets his jaw blown off? And like their their like fucking solution back then was to like saw saw down a fucking horse's femur and try and <laughs> plug it in, and the guy just looks even sadder than with half a. Uh, hey, Mister so Ed, come show come show me your jaw. Yeah, uh, you got the fucking horse teeth coming off. Or the the glasses oh. with the half face like yes, uh, yeah, that's so Boardwalk sad. Empire. You've got two different angles on this thing. You got the cops. Um, camera that he's wearing and then mm. there like there's a little shed that like runs one of those gates with the uh the arm that allows cars in and out and um there's a camera inside of it that looks yeah. and straight down so you could see the operator who normally sits in there very well well i don't know the backstory but a maniac runs into the thing and takes this sikh gentleman who's wearing the turban with a beard mm -hmm. hostage with a knife he's got like a dagger like like, like a six inch blade and he's like got him in a headlock <clears throat> and he's trying to like pull the knife toward his throat to like i think to keep him hostage not mm -hmm. necessarily he wants to get into hostage holding like Position. mode yeah you know he, he wants to like get this wrestling over so that he can effectively negotiate with the cops who are just on the way yeah so he's kind of achieved that he's got like knife almost to throat but the seat guy is still like kind of wiggling around a bit <clears throat> and he's behind the guy like in a headlock sort of uh situation two cops walk up and fucking Johnny Thunderbolt must have been officer number one because he goes, bam, and shoots the guy in the top of the fucking head immediately. And That's the guy, awesome. like, as the guy's falling over very much dead, he shoots him in the head again as his head's falling over. And you see, like, mucus fly out of the fucking head. Gross. And the seat guy is, like, trying to get the fuck out of the guard shack. And Johnny Thunderbolt's like, right this way sir <laughs> he's like are you okay <laughs> and like he can't he can't johnny thunderbolt doesn't understand what's wrong with the sikh man because mm -hmm. the sikh man is being real weird and kind of like acting funny like turning his back i spotted it right away the sikh man has pissed himself <laughs> 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 and he doesn't want the cop to know but but like look, <laughs> that's an acceptable time to pee it's, yourself <laughs> that is the time to piss yourself dude it was just like, you know, those targets that you see where like a yeah. hostage, the, the hostage taker has the woman and like you can see his ugly, mean face. And then she's just like, oh, no. And you've got to shoot the mugger without hitting the woman. Yeah. Dude must have been a model for one of those posters at some point. He's just like, what are you going to do, copper? And the cop just immediately shot him in the top of the fucking head. Like the guy's wearing a baseball cap and you see the cat go poof. And it was so ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that before. I've always, like, when I've seen fucking wild, like, uh, well, I've seen that snipe. There was that dude sitting in a chair with a gun in his hand, and somehow they shoot the gun out of his hand without it even the bullet even hitting his hand. It, it just yeah. hit the gun, which is wild. Yeah, that's I, a I've always thought ball. if I was taking a hostage like that, that's a very Hollywood kind of hostage to have a gun over here and be like, I got a hostage. Like I'm hiding entirely. I'm like I'm making us both like do DDR moves together, jittering and jiving around. That shit doesn't work. I, every time I've seen someone actually do that because they watch too many movies, like either they shoot the guy or eventually they're just like grab his arm and pull it away, and then they have him, and they're all mad at him. Oh <laughs> no! Like I, I I saw one in like 
<laughs> Forgive me. I don't know what country. They were brown and the street was red mud. And when the they nerd. got the knife away from this mustachioed gentleman holding this pretty little girl, they just started whooping his ass. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> I, you couldn't count the people that were beating him up. It was like when you see like a pile of ants, like tearing a grasshopper apart. Like, yeah. how many do you think that is? A thousand or a hundred thousand? I, I don't know. Dude, it was I saw, all of the people. They all beat the shit out of him. I, I saw some brutal, like beat up video. And it was this, it was in India because the title said India. That's how I knew. And it was like village gets revenge on rapist. And it's this like, apparently like, Joey rapist was like just known in that community as raping a lot. And so like all these women and men and even like younger kids, they just like are grabbing him, throwing him on the ground, kicking him, like picking up bottles and things like he deserves it. He's a fucking rapist. Sure. And I think a pedophile as well. So according he, to Reddit, he was just according to that whole Indian village, they wouldn't lie. What if it was like a witch? Thing? I was gonna say witch. <laughs> like, like we don't speak Hindu or whatever. So, but but if we did, if we we hear we hear witch, witch, witch. Jesus, I'm so glad that you guys killed that pedophile. He was not a pedophile. He was a demon. Oh no, we would <laughs> never kill a pedophile. We all love children. <laughs> Fucking. And it oh, been. There, there was like they beat the shit out of him. They like pull his pants down. He's like on the road, like knocked out. Like people oh, no. kicked him in the head. And then yeah. some lady takes like a broken broom handle. And, oh, not sh- that. Uh, you don't see it. It's oh. off on the side, but it's like, but- oh, 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 oh. All right, that's I can't oh, do he- that. Oh, he- he's dead. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh. oh, that's a colostomy bag waiting to happen. I, I don't want. I don't think that. he has one available in that dirt. Dirt floor road. Well, he'll need you know. one soon enough after a, after a, after a, a buggering with a with a dirty brown <laughs> person's quite broom the handle. <laughs> <laughs> it was bu- he was street buggered. <laughs> Dude, it was it was brutal. street buggered. Yes, yes, street buggered. I can I can watch those those brutal videos if the person is a pedophile. Of course, but they, that involves most of. Mostly imagination, yeah. As I said before, I was like, about to say a little, little, little make believe. Then we mm-hmm. watch that stuff um, because I, mostly it seems like it's just drug deals gone wrong with someone on Reddit wanting to post it, but knowing that that's not mm-hmm. going to get the same response as this I person was mean to that person, and then he caved his skull in. I just really don't like the videos of just assaults. Like I saw one the other day, and it yeah, was like, like, like some guy was coming out of a gas station and he had some sort of a disability. Like he walked with his hands and kind of funny. I don't know. He had like a wiggly walk and this black guy just walked up and like knocked the shit out of him for no reason and ran away. And like this poor guy is is all like, why did you know like, like why did somebody just fucking de- like deck me like, like it was just no reason at all what a piece of shit i, I mean we, I, i've been to chicago like four or five times and like w- walked around at night around mm-hmm. like the nice part of town don't get me yeah. wrong like like, like like where the buildings are that the pretty architecture stuff like that ain't mega country i promise you no like, like, very like, progressive area <laughs> maybe su- actually southern illinois that's mega country yeah that's ba- southern illinois is basically missouri like yeah, like, like like um you know I I drove up there a couple times for my little weed cations and I'd get a cabin up there for a four day weekend or something. That's MAGA country. I literally saw the flags and stuff, and I was like, oh man, I, you know you don't think of like even as an American, sometimes I lose track of just how big some of these states are mm-hmm. because it's easy to think of like Illinois is like oh yeah that's where Chicago is that's it's, it's a blue state. It's like dude. 95 percent of that state is farmland yeah. <laughs> and, and good old boys with chaw in their mouths and hate in their hearts yeah, and, then, and they're just and then it's just chicago <laughs> like where all the well the majority of the people are sure sure i love chicago that's one of my favorite places to go it's a pretty um, nice town i haven't been in years but this this would be a good time to go they do a huge saint patrick's thing every single year where they like turn the the river green i've i've never gone to it my, my brother did last year i have friends who have gone they say it's a blast just insane i know somebody's going up there soon i'm thinking about going with them um, that'd be fun do like a week up there uh because i i just love the food up there like portillo's is really good uh mm-hmm. Belnati's and um uh, i love that deep dish pizza everybody's like, not peach it's lasagna and it's like all right well i like their fucking lasagna chill out like it's, yeah. it's really fucking tasty either way it's not the that pizza- it, it tastes bad like deep dish pizza tastes very good. It's just if you want a hand food for your pizza, it's not the right one. Definitely not. And I, I, I pizza's a hand food. I, I, I like it. Like, and I, I like thinner crust also. I like the, I like a higher topping to crust ratio. You know, I, I, 
I don't have a preference. I just know that it's like a it's just a different experience. I have a like, lot of like, strong food preferences. <laughs> I remember, uh, I, get, I just got good memories wrapped around those deep dish pizzas. That might be part of it. Always had a good time when I was uh, up there in Chicago and eating one of them. So usually had some cold beer or I was stoned or I was with some like good looking young lady or something like that and having a good time and eating some pizza. One of the times I was with Woody and, uh, and Joe, I think. Um, we went to the place and I think, um, man, I, need, I can't talk about Woody this way if he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> but but I know there was an issue with the wait staff. <laughs> like like I like like all I know for sure is that somebody got scolded, and uh, it I think it might have been warranted. But I, I wish you were here to like uh, refresh my memory. But I, I just remember like there was something about they had like on tap like root beer on tap, mm -hmm. and we were like, oh yeah, give us a frosty root beer mm -hmm. on tap or something, and they were like. Two of us wanted those, and then like some, like maybe Joe was like n just wanted water because like mm -hmm. maybe he's about to fight. I can't imagine, but like his water was like a Fiji, and it was like locked in uh, like a mini fridge because the place just had opened up for lunch. Yeah, and instead of bringing our root beers to us, he waited like eight ten minutes for a manager with a key to show up to get the Fiji water, and and our root beers oh. just sat there like losing their head. And I think that's what happened. God, I, I, that, that's what it, I, I, sure I that's would dislike that. But but yeah, I think I think there was a fucking meltdown over that. But um, but yeah, I love that fucking pizza. A meltdown over that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I, man, I have not just you saying that. Like I'm picturing in my mind the frosty mug, the the great tasting, hopefully like artisan or like small batch root beer that tastes so good. And those like pizzas are so hot that that like you mm -hmm. you, you you want that like giant thing of sugary like cold deliciousness to like wash it down every it's once great. like every once in a while and it's very rare there's it's lots trashy. of things that i don't like and that i think are trashy and awful but i can't not watch and and colby covington is one of those things That's just true. like the war in ukraine i was gonna say i don't care for what's going i'll go so far as to say i dislike it i hate it two thumbs down is the official stance so many, of our show i've seen so many russians burn alive this week really like, Oh, you you sent a. I only saw the one tank video you sent uh, last time we talked. Yeah, so like every I was saying earlier, I don't know if we were recording yet, but like the way to virtue signal now is to send Ukrainians a rocket to yeah to kill, yeah to kill a Russian. Um, and so like everybody's down. So I keep seeing like video after video, and and what happens, I guess, is like the Russian tanks, like and maybe just tanks in general, like up on top where these javelins, especially, are hitting them, is where the ammunition is. And uh, they cook off, which is where the ammunition starts, this chain reaction of exploding inside the tank. And then the turret explodes off of it in this big fireball. And everybody inside is just vaporized. And Jesus. I've seen so many, so many of those uh, tanks do that this week. I don't know how many Russians. I've seen so much awful shit. I don't know how much. I'm almost like I'm trying to slow down and always look mm. for like verification that things are real. Because some of it's so awful. I saw a whole family dead in the streets, like little kids. Mm. The dogs were dead. Like, like um, I saw, like I, I watched an old couple get like blown the fuck up in their car um, by by some Russians, and uh, just lots of awful, awful shit. So many mm -hmm. dead kids. Um, they they hit a children's hospital a couple days ago. I guess I heard now. about that. That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, it's, what, it's, what, what's what's a worse thing to strike than that? Is there, on the list of things, a children's hospital? Holocaust survivors? I don't think there's just like a place what they're if, all hanging no, out. No, no, no. Holocaust sur survivor, like meetup 2022. It's the last 18 Holocaust survivors we're, in the we're, world. We're meeting at the St. Jude Children's Hospital to commemorate surviving the Holocaust. Like, Yeah. Yeah, and then they, they die in that. Okay, that would be worse. That'd be worse, but, but but children's hospital is pretty high up there. I yeah. think they're like like children's. I think it's like a children's cancer ward too. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> it's not even for boo boos. It's for no. <laughs> no that, that's the problem. They couldn't flee. You know, they, they they needed to be hooked up to something. It's a maternity ward. No, that's what it was. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, oh it was the sick maternity ward. Oh, oh no, no, it was the terminally ill ter uh, uh, maternity ward. It was newborns who were definitely not going to make it. You're, you're, you can't be Wait, telling that, the truth about that one. 
Does that make it better or worse? Strangely better. Yeah. That they were. <laughs> <laughs> it was newborns who were like touch and go. Touch, touch and go. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst. Like there was hope. Mr. Smith, I regret to inform you, your son is a bit touch and go. What does that mean? You know, half in, half out, uh, half, however you want to see it. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a Nick you half full kind of guy and we're overflowed. So you can take your half dead son home. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's, it's been pretty horrific. Um, uh, I don't know how Putin's going to get out of this thing. He's backed himself into a corner. Uh, he has, has anything like, happened like progress wise, like on the lines, like the, the battle lines. Cause like, you know, you see oh, like the yeah. areas the Russians oh, have moved to, have, right, they, so have they got a lot more? So broadly speaking, here's the situation. Whenever you see that, like, oh, the Russians have taken this big red blob and they move mm -hmm. the blob in closer, that's bullshit. Because the Russians can't drive on anything that isn't road unless they're in the in the south where it's dry and arid. Everything up around the capital in the north is like bogged the fuck down. And mm -hmm. and those vehicles, like, it's hard to imagine how much they weigh. Like like a car weighs like five thousand pounds, I think. Like roughly, mm -hmm. like cars are like five thousand pounds. Those tanks are like twenty five. Tons? Don't twenty thousand tons? I think they're twenty five thousand. They're they're gigantic. They're just they're thousands of thousands of pounds, Jesus. and they just like sink down to nothing in the mud. And uh, one of the things I saw the Ukrainians didn't plan did, this out very well. They released a reservoir and like flooded this huge area of like farmland out um, south of Kiev or Kiev, and uh, so the but but the tanks are just on the roads in lines, and then they can't get fuel to the tanks. The fuel trucks all have flat tires because the rubber was dry rotted. Um, and of yeah, course, the whole time they're like, shitty Chinese tires. They're shitty Chinese tires. And they're using a mixture of like drones and guerrilla tactics to just continuously pick at the long convoys that are just stopped in the road. Yeah. And tonight, or like, I don't know what time it is in Ukraine. It's probably getting toward the middle of the night by now. Um, but it's, uh, I think, negative 20 Celsius, whatever that is. Oh my and, God. And they can't run their tanks. Is that a, is that a real temperature? They can't run their tanks and stuff to stay warm because they, they don't have fuel. And the inside of a tank is like a heat sink. It's just sucking all the heat away from you. Like you oh, can't yeah, like build totally up any heat like you could in a tent or something like that. So um, they could legitimately be Russians freezing to death tonight. Yeah, minus four Fahrenheit. They could absolutely freeze to death. Uh, I, I listened to captured um, phone calls from the Russians. That's how they're being so accurate, by the way. The Russians don't have field encrypted field communication encrypted uh, field communications that mm -hmm. are effective. So they either get listened in on or they get their uh, um, cell phones GPS tracked and shot because they have artillery that can just aim mm -hmm. at a GPS and shoot it. Uh, but they were they were playing the um, the Russian soldiers talking about looting and how they had, he's like, I got a mink coat for you and an Arctic fox for little Mika. And yeah, fuck the, and, and the wife back home was like, yeah, Fuck those drug addicts and Nazis. Steal it all. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I shot a car up today. She's like, did you? He's like, yeah, I killed them all. Like, Good. Get them all. And then the, the one guy was just like, yeah, we captured a few of them, and we tied them up and searched them, and we had to decide if we're going to let them go because they might tell people where we were. So we just shot them all in the head. Jesus and Christ. It, and, and, and they're just like laughing about it, and it's it's, it's real maniacal stuff. Yeah, that's pretty um, dark. Talking about uh, the guys like, oh yeah, I got a new ratchet. It's in the box. Like they're just talking about looting, like and stealing, like all sorts. Yeah. And, and the wife or whatever's just like effectively pillaging Kiev. Yeah. Or the wife, whatever city it is. Just the, just the, wherever they are. The wife is like, they let you do that. She's like, oh yes, they got things of their own. And it's just like, oh, okay, Jesus Christ, they're just things sleeping. of their own. What do you mean? Yeah, like like, like the higher ups have stolen things of their own. Oh, you know? okay. like, like everybody's everybody's looting. Oh yeah. She, I mean, it's a it's a war. Everybody's stealing everything that's not nailed down. Yeah, it's pretty awful. But I'm seeing a lot of Russians dying, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I it watched, doesn't. Uh, look, you don't think it's going to end anytime soon? Hopefully, it does. Uh uh. No, I no, think no. I, I think I'm maybe having a, a fit of wishful thinking, but I'm hoping they come to an agreement to no calm it down, uh, and stop the. One thing that's thing. interesting. Um, one thing that I would have said zero percent, but but now I would uh, say like maybe sometime soon because uh, Putin has already backed down a little. You know, originally his deal was that's good. We're, we're, his deal was like, um, we're going to take over Ukraine. Um, we've got to denazify Ukraine. Um, all of these regions are ours. The all of Ukraine is ours. And, uh, you know, the, the leadership has to go. And now it's OK. You keep Ukraine. We take Crimea and those other two regions 
and let us elect like a uh, like a some sort of um, a secondary leader who yeah. who is a Russian and agree not to join NATO. So like already they, he's like loosened up quite a bit. But Zelensky, I don't think, is open to that because you know that his cities are in rubble and there's mm-hmm. tens of thousands of people die, uh, dead or dying. The Russian number of casualties, uh, depending on who, who you believe, is definitely in the thousands already. The Russians have admitted, um, but but the the Ukrainians seem to think it's over ten thousand. Uh, really? Russians. Yeah. Who knows what to believe on total number Putin, of dead Russians? Putin um, originally said they asked him the question about conscripts, which I I believe is when you just force somebody up into the military mm-hmm. and send them in. Yeah. And, uh, and he was like, absolutely not. We don't use conscripts. It's against the law. And then like a day later, he came out and he's like, actually, we were using conscripts. Those generals will be punished severely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they were. They fired like seven or eight generals like, like the next day. Where, I, I, of course, I did I'm, not know that. So, they're, they, so now he, they've literally admitted. So those guys who are like, we thought we were on a training exercise. I've, I don't even have clean underwear. It's like, I think that they just, they, it was like that scene. Um, they just kind of, sent a bunch of young adult, young kids in there unknowingly. Like they're like, like in America, our reservists like have like jobs and they're technicians and stuff. And like, mm-hmm. they know their shit. This was like, not even reservists. These guys were like, dude, I'm a fucking accountant. I don't know what the fuck's up. Like, like, like I don't know. What the fuck is this thing? I, like, like they don't know what they're doing. Jesus like, Christ, that's there was up. one unit. The best thing I saw was there was this unit in a barn, and they were interviewing these guys in a barn. They were like, "Our commanders told us we have to sign this piece of paper that says that we were all fired from the army two months ago. So, so that way, our presence here is not uh, Russian military presence. I guess we just wandered here without food or sleeping bags <laughs> to live in this barn." They left us. <laughs> and I was just like, that is so fucking hilarious. It doesn't so seem glad. like uh, like the Russian army has much care for the lives of their soldiers. I'll tell you what. Or apparently what you're saying, they're not even soldiers. They just seized some guy who worked at the bank and was like, hey, guess what? You get to go on a fun training exercise. When you see fucking Kiev in two miles, it's, it's- a mistake. It's Keep so going. clear that 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 Putin wanted to be viewed as like big, strong, and influential on the world stage, and he has done like he's ruined himself and his country. Like like, like this this is not go. I, I occasionally I see someone like maybe he's playing two D chess here, and it's like you're the two, same two person. <laughs> you're, the, you're the same person who always like is like no Donald Trump doesn't have any plans. <laughs> but 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 let's suddenly Putin is a mastermind. No, Putin is fucked. There's no way he wanted the ruble to be worth 0. 0.7 pennies each. There's no yeah. way he wanted like all of these firms and major companies. Did you? I saw a video inside of a Russian mall today. Now, granted, uh, you're probably thinking like, show me a, a video in an American mall. But I think Russian yeah. malls are more trafficked than, than our malls are. I don't. I think there's. I think they're like 15 years behind us. Yeah. You know, on uh, on on that curve. Uh, and everything's closed. Every, the, 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 you know, the, the shutters are down and everything. You couldn't buy anything. I saw a guy who like cleaned out a McDonald's and froze it all because there's no more McDonald's there. Um, but Russia, uh, Putin said this, and, and if they go through with this, I haven't been watching the news. It's, it, it, he's basically saying, let's, let's start another cold war and just go for a generation. I think he was talking about privatizing all of the assets from these companies who are supposedly pulling out nationalizing so, them. Yeah. Yes. Nationalizing them and, and keeping them. He's like, Oh, you don't want to run, run a McDonald's here. Well, the bit, the place is going to open up tomorrow and they're going to be selling big Macs. Wait, we well, <laughs> can't do that. Yeah, you can. We own that now. No, we own that. Oh, I can't use McDonald's. I just invaded Ukraine. You think anybody's going to be talking yeah. about the fucking burger they're, restaurant? They're talking, they're saying that they may relax uh, trademark and copyright laws so that they can just, steal you know software they need steal trademarks that they want to continue using um i i don't i don't i don't know it this so mcdonald's I, goes we're removing all of our stores and he's like then we will re put more people in there and put more beef in there and make burgers yeah i i think they'll just like make it a mcdowell's or something uh, McDonald's. And, and just, just serve some russian beef i don't know what the fucking plan is with literally a mcdonald's but 
so much of their stuff is closed that 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 I think that it's gotten the general population to start talking about it to the point where like maybe uh they they'll figure out what's going on. I still see Good plenty name. of people who don't care, you know, or are happy about it, you know. They're like, "Yeah, get the get them." You know, well, like, like Russians? Yeah, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll be like, like Where do this? you see that? I I've read it. Oh, okay. I don't where, where which like um in- well it, it's pro pro Russia r slash pro Russia. No, well, there's Russia phobia. Um, there's there's that subreddit, and it, and it's all um people like like look at all, I'm 14 and I'm in like Switzerland and I'm getting bullied for being Russian, and everybody's like, oh my god, can you imagine? Like just melting down and stuff, and like you know making it propaganda and stuff. Mostly there's there's plenty of that, and Jeez. and I've seen I've seen like mainstream media go in Russia, you know, in Saint Petersburg or, or Moscow or whatever, be like. Pull out an iPad and like like here's what's happening in uh, in uh, Ukraine and either they won't look at it or they'll be like yeah that's 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 propaganda I I'm I'm a Putin man through and through whatever he wants to do that's what I want to do they literally say stuff like that so it's it can be really disheartening when you realize that even if you were to win sort of the information war that maybe they wouldn't care what they heard or saw because mm-hmm. I feel so awful when I see those fucking kids dead oh and then they showed like they're they're one of the stories was this lady who got killed in a bombing because she was going back to save the starving dogs at the pound and they were like oh and you donate here if you want to help save the starving dogs at the pound and i'm like oh no not war refugee puppers <laughs> <laughs> where do i donate fuck, <laughs> fuck. And, here's 10 bucks for the ukrainian dog oh shelter. my god it's fucking <laughs> on and on i feel so awful um and then i see the old crying ladies and oh today i saw like there was a little kid a little refugee kid she was like three had, in, in like a little fuzzy hoodie and shit and they and she had like this little like i don't know like a little chunk of bread out of like a fucking aladdin right like a, like a like a hunk of bread in her hands and she mm-hmm. she like takes a bite of it and she sees the cameraman's look at her and she goes you want my refugee bread she's like she's like yeah and I was just like, oh, she's offered him her little bit of bread. I, was just I mean, so that's fucking, so fucking that, sweet. That's obviously propaganda. <laughs> what are you talking about? Setting up a, a shoot to have him hand bread over? Come on. You think they told Come the kid on. to hand the cameraman the bread? Yes. Yeah, probably. That, see, like, that kind of thing right, is just too on the I... fucking nose. Here's it's too on the nose definitely. that they're there with their film and their lighting and their ooh look at this. It wasn't hand. like that. Don't it, this, this was it was just like they're <laughs> filming like a crowd. Like like this is this is like a bustling crowd of people and stuff moving around. Yeah, and it's, this was not propaganda. This was just. Well, I I will trust your 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 careful eye on it. I I I, I can I, I find the propaganda. Um, I saw uh the Samuel Hyde video. Uh, ah. did, did you watch that? I did watch watch some of that. It yeah. was so rambling and incoherent and weird. And in the background, he had that other guy like just randomly moving stuff around and like shuffling about. Wait, uh, which are you talking about the where he was talking about the baby? How he wants to have a adopt a baby because they only have three guys in their in their apartment and they need a fourth for four player games. And well, they like request they want no. a baby with like no, 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 can, no, no. can we get one with uh, MS? Nope. So that it can't get up. It just wants a game. Nope. I, I didn't see the one you're talking about. This is about, um, and, and again, forgive me if I'm wrong about this because it, it was very rambling. But it seemed to me that he was talking. It was like a nose for him. It was almost like a poem, and he was talking about if Vladimir Putin were his son. Oh, you and, know what that's based on, right? And and he seemed to be like going back and forth, like, like like he was imagining if he was like a trans man or something, and <laughs> Vladimir, like like you know, it got, it got so complicated that like. <laughs> Like, like, like I, I got confused a few times about what gender he was pretending to be and what gender or his wife or and or husband partner or whatever. <laughs> I was so confused by the scenario he was laying out for me. And it was rambling about like, I would love you, little Vladimir. I would I would tell you you were great. I would tell you you were strong and to never <laughs> masturbate. And it was just like, <laughs> it was like I, I'm just making that up off the top of my head. But, but like, no, was that was weird. a good one. <laughs> It was weird shit like that. Like, like, like. Oh yeah. Do Do you know what that's? I'm gonna watch that after the show because it's gonna be funny. Do you know what that's based on? Mm-mm. So there was this huge meme that this like white woman influencer made, who like straight up was called like 
if I was Putin's mom and it, like everyone was oh roasting this stupid bitch who was, who was like, if I were your mom, Vladimir, yeah. I would love you and I would make you feel loved. That's what he never, did. You okay. would never feel the need to lash out ever again because I would love you, Vladimir, so much and I would care for you. And if you just had a mother who cared, we wouldn't be in this predicament. We need more mothers who care for their son. Like a rambling bullshit. And so, yeah, that's what he's making fun of. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely <laughs> it. Um, sh shifting gears a little bit. I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my little Ooh. notebook of like things I noticed this week. It's it's like, what are we gonna figure out right now? That's so horrible for us. Like, because it's easy to look back and be like, oh, those retards. They thought smoking was okay. Ha ha ha. How do you not know? Meanwhile, yeah, those things maybe, but. The, the food pyramid was just a, I just looked it up. They changed it in 2011. I was halfway through with college when they switched and said not like for years, people were like those idiots smoking cigarettes. Let me have my ninth serving of bread today. <laughs> like, so I'm nice and healthy. I, like, I, I mean, I, you could have nine servings of bread. It's more about like uh, the caloric intake though. Like, like, I don't nine I, I, servings of bread. That can be good for all right, you. All right, nine's too many. Nine's it's, too, that's well, the, that's the lower I, level. It's supposed to be nine to eleven. How many servings are in like uh, a sandwich? Is that is that is each slice a serving? <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Six to eleven servings a day of bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. <laughs> Jesus, that the mamma mia! You're like, <laughs> Terrible <wrong>. advice. <laughs> all right, all right. That can't. You have to be working so hard to need that diet. Like, like, I, 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 we would say this though: if you were working in like an industrial era factory, turning a big wheel all day, and then grabbing a big finished product and heaving it onto a pile, that is the meal you need. Plenty. You just fast calories. Eleven servings of. You're like, yeah. Do, do we have any more pasta? I've only had eight servings. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to burn through this. Like, you do you more? have a have a chicken leg? I don't want to be unhealthy. <laughs> Give me my pasta covered in butter, but not too much butter, sparingly. Yeah, yeah I don't that, know that shit it. is I like the vertical. Absurd. I like this vertical diet thing that I do. I, I feel like it's, uh, I don't know. I, Have you been doing it again for a couple months now? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely cheat occasionally if I want, like, anything. Like, like, like I'm not going to, it's not, it's not like when um, that ketogenic diet where, oh, did you smell some sugar? Well, you're you're out of ketosis now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? Does that mean that like nothing I do for like the next how long is it before I get back into ketosis and it matters again? Oh, well, maybe a day or two. You really took a step backwards here. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> fuck you and your silly diet. Okay, your your diet sounds a lot like the Jedi religion to me. There's a lot of Dude, keto. That I have to have. Keto sucks. I did it once for like a like ten days, and I have never been low. Or no, I think it was a full two weeks. I've never been more low energy in my life. Like I was, it was at my old place when I lived in the city, and my now wife and I were working out one time when we were both like into the keto thing. Yeah, and it was like two weeks in, and I was like doing something with a kettlebell, and I just like laid on the ground and like almost went to sleep, and I was like, I can't. I can't move my body anymore. And she's like, what do you need? I'm like, rice. And so, so I made myself a bowl of rice. Yeah. 25 minutes later, I'm, I'm, whoo, whoo. Oh, I'm back absolutely. in the game. Um, you Look, it, 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 I'm sure there's people out there who it, it, it works for. That's the other thing. I don't it's think there is one. muscle on that diet. I would think it would be. That's what, I, I, I'm I watched sure. a video from Derek where like he spelled out some stuff that I hadn't considered before where he's like, because everybody who's on keto only gives you the highlight reel of keto. And then like hearing someone like Derek talk about it, where he's like, you know, a, a huge problem with this is like, it is borderline impossible to grow muscle at a decent rate with this diet. And it's like, okay, well, the reasons I, I'm not smart enough to repeat, not knowledgeable enough to repeat what he knows and what he said, but it made sense. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I, I, I if you said, I started listening when you mentioned Derek and it was like, uh, mm -hmm. whatever he said is probably right. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I like kind of the, the vertical diet thing because I like everything that's in it and it doesn't really cut out too much of anything and I can eat so much. And I've really grown to like white rice. Um, I got a, a new rice cooker, but I really like just cooking it in a pan. It's so easy to cook in a, in a, in a, in a saucepan. 
but I do that most of the time. So it's just fresh. Is uh, I watched. I, I haven't watched much of his content. Seen a couple of videos. Is is Greg Doucette like really short? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense because he's like as wide as a house. So okay, proportionally that makes sense. Yeah, he's very short. Um, my guess off the top of my head is probably five six, five seven. Okay, he's like um, who's that other guy who's super knowledgeable? Also very short. Oh, um, and uh, he's huge. Athlete? No, Athlete not X? oh, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't thinking Athlean. Um, he's also short. Is he? Are all these guys short? Well, he's short. Or I, I think that it's. It's easier to have like what's considered to be a good aesthetic physique the shorter you are. Um, I, I just for whatever reason just is like like whenever I see someone, although I don't know. I think on I think in a camera, I, I think in a camera, it is. You think it seems so? like a lot of those guys are shorter. Jeff Nippard or Nippard. Oh, that's who I'm thinking. Yeah, he's of. short too. Yeah, because that guy's back is like. Like you could put tail lights on it. It's huge. Yeah. I think I've seen videos with him and his girlfriend who's like super hot, by the way. But they're about the same height. Like like he's um he's on the shorter side. That's a huge benefit in being like an online fitness guru is being shorter. Cause you on screen, you look monstrous. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like like I think if you if you go to a fitness competition that like I always heard anyway, like like, like that, that like Arnold would always beat this guy every year because he was like three inches taller. And like it, it was like, didn't matter how hard little Billy worked, Arnold was three inches taller. Yeah. <laughs> and Arnold would just laugh and laugh. He'd write little Billy letters. He'd call him late at night. And then like, are there are there any like big fitness influencers like tall guys? I think Derek's pretty tall, but I don't know. Yeah, Derek is very tall. Um, I think he's like six five or something. Well, then that's infinitely more impressive that he manages to look like that. At yeah, he's, he's a fucking gargantuan person, I, I think.